So yesterday, Apple released a new software update for AirPods Pro and the AirPods third generation. And as per usual, I like to get back in 24 hours and share with you guys some of the latest new features and improvements that I've noticed within the AirPods lineup. Now, I do want to say, and I hope Apple or somebody from Apple is watching this video, there isn't any manual way to update AirPods or Apple doesn't provide any release notes for AirPods so that users can see what's new with the latest AirPods updates. And I hope that if someone from Apple is watching this video, we definitely need this for iOS. This is a very, very popular product that's constantly getting updated and there's bug fixes in the works constantly so that would be nice but without further ado of course if you would like to stay up to date with the latest airpods news and software updates don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode now as i mentioned within the past 24 hours apple had already released a new software updates for the airpods pro and the airpods third generation now i want to talk about airpods pro first the latest software update for airpods it's going to be airpods pro update 4a 402. Now, for those of you that constantly ask, how do you update your AirPods? Again, there's no manual way to update an AirPods. So what you have to do is make sure your AirPods are plugged in to a power source in your iPhone as well. And they're both paired. Okay. So your AirPods need to be paired to the iPhone. Once they are, all you have to do is go into Bluetooth here and find the AirPods Pro. Make sure you're connected. And then once you're connected, you can click on the I next to the name and you scroll all the way to the bottom. And right there, you find the version number right there. It is 4A402. If you're running the latest version then you're on the latest os now there's a few things that i've noticed so far within the latest firmware updates and i want to talk about airpods pro first the thing i noticed with airpods pro first is that noise cancellation seems a little weird in some cases it's slightly better in other cases it's slightly worse it's weird to explain but i would like to hear from you in those comments down below sometimes noise cancellation acts almost like transparency mode for some reason on my iphone with the latest software update and again i've only had this software installed for 24 hours so uh, this could change over time we'll have to wait and see but for now it is spotty with the active noise cancellation these airpods pro have always had some weird noise cancellation issues and the cracking sounds as well which i haven't noticed in quite some time honestly since the previous software update which was the 4a 400 the 4a 402 now uh, i haven't heard any crackling sound just the noise cancellation is kind of weird anything else in regards to software i've noticed is that the the uh, notify when left behind feature that is now capable or available within the find my network is working properly so before the uh, feature wasn't working properly for me obviously uh, many users have reported that under the find my network when you leave your airpods behind it would constantly tell you even if you didn't leave them behind so if you had your airpods pro in your pocket then it would tell you that you left them behind when you really did not and i've noticed that with the airpods pro and it looks like within the past 24 hours i haven't experienced that with airpods pro however with airpods third generation which is apple's latest airpods here for the airpods lineup again this new software updates for airpods third generation is going to be 4b 66 now with these airpods the only thing i've really noticed that's changed here is the uh, notified when left behind feature that was constantly bugging many users that has also been addressed with the latest software updates for airpods third generation so if you were getting this prompt here uh, whether you have your airpods with you or not then that issue has been fixed okay now i've had this software again installed within about 24 hours and it seems like that issue has been resolved for the airpods third generation so minor changes no major new features for the airpods pro and airpods third generation but you guys have been asking what's new that's everything i've noticed so far with airpods pro and airpods third generation let me know if you notice anything else new within the latest software updates for airpods thank you for watching this video guys and i'll see you on the next one peace